This is part 76 of C Sharp tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss working with generic list class and ranges. This is continuation to part 74 and 75, so please watch these videos before proceeding. In this video, we'll be discussing these range functions. First of all, let's look at add range method. Now, if we want to add an item to the list, then we use add method. But this method allows us to add only one item at a time. Now, if I want to add a list of items to the existing list, then we can use this add range function. Let's look at that in action. So here is the customer class that we have been working with. And to this class, I have introduced this type property. So this type property is going to tell whether the customer is a retail customer or a corporate customer. And within the main class, I have created five instances of the customer class. So we have customer one, customer two, customer three. So these three customers are of type retail customer, as you can see here. And then customer four and customer five are corporate customers. And then what I have done is created two lists. The first list contains customer one, customer two, and customer three. These three customer objects are retail customers. And I have created another list called list corporate customers. And to this list, I have added customer four and customer five. And if you look at this add method, it allows you to add only one item to the list at a time. Okay, now let's say I want to add this list of customers to this list, then we can use add range function. So list customers dot add range. And look at that, it expects I enumerable of customers to be passed. So I can pass this list to this function and then the items that are present in this list will now be added to this list. So at this point, list customers should have five objects within that. Let's verify that. So for each customer C in list customers, let's print the details. So I have already typed the code to print the ID, name, salary, and type of the customer. So let's go ahead and run this. And we should get five customers. And look at that, corporate customers, you know, is added at the end. So add range function allows us to add a range of cust uh, objects to the list. All right, now let's look at using get range function. Now to retrieve an item from the list, we generally use that items index. So, for example, if I want the first item from this list, then we pass index 0. And look at what it is returning. It's returning a customer object, only one object back. So when we use the index, we only get one item at a time out of that list. Now, if I want a range of elements, meaning a list of elements, then we can use get a range function. So when I say get a range, look at that, I can basically specify the starting index position from which I want the items, and then how many items I want. Okay, now let's say I want, you know, corporate customers from this list. Corporate customers start at index position three. Okay, zero, one, two are retail customers, and three is corporate customer. So from index position three, I want two items. And look at the return type of this function. It's actually returning a list of customers back. Okay, so let's include that in a variable of type um, list customer and let's call it maybe customers and then let's use a for each loop and verify the output. Let's call it for each customer C in customers. Let's go ahead and print their ID name and uh, salary and type. Okay, so let's run this now, and we should get only corporate customers. On the other hand, if I want only the retail customers, then retail customers start at index zero. So from index zero, I want three items. So now we should get only the retail customers. All right, now let's look at using insert range function. So first of all, let's get rid of this function okay so at the moment list customers um, has only three items if 
okay because we got rid of that line add range so list customers only has three customer objects now if I want to insert an item into the list then we use insert function and obviously we need to specify the position of the index um, at which you want to insert that item so if I want to insert an item at 0th index so I specify 0 and then pass the item that I want to insert but then this method allows us to insert only one item at a time okay now is it possible to insert a list of items absolutely again use insert range function okay so all these range functions allow you uh, to operate using a list so let's say I want to insert these corporate customers at the top of the list then I specify the index as 0 and then you need to obviously pass your list which is list corporate customers and then let's loop through this list of customers and see if we get both corporate and retail customers and then corporate customers has to be on top because we have specified the index position as zero on the other hand if you want them to be inserted at the bottom then specify the index position as three because the first three positions are occupied by retail customers so now corporate customers should be at the bottom all right now let's look at using this remove range function now there are several functions that help us to remove an item from a list first of all I can use this remove function now when we use remove function then we will have to specify the item that we want to remove so um, if I want to remove customer one object so I simply pass you know the object that I want to remove here in this case customer one so now customer one object will be removed from the list so we'll only have four customers two retail and two corporate okay but then again this function allows us to remove only one I uh, item at a time and then we have this remove at function as the name states you can remove an item at a specified index so when we use remove at we need to specify the index position at which we want to remove the item let's say I want to remove the last item from the list then the index position is 4 so let's go ahead and pass that so the last item which is one of the corporate customers should be removed from the list again this remove at function allows us to remove only one item at a time but there is another function called remove all this allows us to remove multiple items from the list but then in order to use this function we need to specify a condition now let's say I want to remove all corporate customers then I can use this remove all and specify a condition so we can pass a lambda expression here let's say x such that x dot type equals you know we want to remove corporate customers so let's pass the type so corporate customers so we get only retail customers so if you want to remove retail customers just pass that as your type and retail customers will be removed okay now there's another function remove range so this allows us to remove a range of customers a list of customers okay so for example let's say I want to remove corporate customers now corporate customers start at index position 3 so from 3 from the index position 3 remove two items so what should that do that that should remove two corporate customers from the list so we only get retail customers on the other hand if you want to remove the retail customers then start at index position 0 and then remove three items look at that both of the retail I mean all the retail customers are removed and only corporate customers are left all right that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.